We are joined with the man who needs no introduction, Grandmaster Shujo Shekhar Ganguly. Today you are here at the prize distribution ceremony of Saturday Club Youth Chess Championship. And you said that uh, it's been a long time since you played a youth tournament. I'm very happy to be here. Well, uh, it's a youth chess championship. Once upon a time I was eligible for such tournaments. But uh, not anymore. So how does it feel to see uh, so many players participating in a tournament like this? Yeah, it was brilliant. Uh, to see so many you know, youngsters playing in this tournament. And yeah, unfortunately, uh, youth is being considered by number of age and uh, not at heart, yeah? yeah. So otherwise, I would have qualified. <laughs> uh, it was a very nice uh, ambience overall. Uh, thanks to Saturday Chess Club and Elegant Chess Club, who, you know, sort of uh, managed to conduct this tournament so nicely. Uh, overall, it was very good. You mentioned also that uh, we should uh, prepare for the unknown over the board because a lot of people prepare only the opening. We, we basically prepare for the known things. Like, we think that if we memorize more, then we play better. Especially in Bengal, but you know like try to gobble up as much information as you can and then that will help you to play better chess but uh, that's not the case uh, it's better to be ready for the unknown which is very difficult but it's a mindset you know like you are okay to get an unknown position you are looking for an unknown position you are like Give more priority to imagination and creativity. So, uh, how would you advise that how to prepare for that? I mean, to be ready, yeah? like we always uh, like to have everything under control. And uh, sometimes we over prepare. So, it's okay to get a new position. Uh, and the more you are open to explore yourself, uh, you'll find out amazing things about your own self. What would you describe like uh, which chess books have uh, greatly influenced you? I can't name any particular book uh, as such. But in recent times, uh, uh, positional decision making by Boris Gelfand had a huge impact on me. Uh, once upon a time I read uh, you know, the Doris Kassengen manual which had a huge impact on me. And uh, what else? Let me see what I'm reading right now. Uh, I was reading this Kuzmin book uh, on candidates. That was also quite interesting. Basically, I enjoy reading, yeah. So it's it makes sense to. Uh, I mean, it, from my perspective, it makes sense to read uh, as much as you can, as long as you are liking it. So how do you study from a book, like on a real I read practical them. board? <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean uh, in terms of like preparation for chess, like uh, do you prepare it uh, on a digital board or a, a practical board or with pieces? Which one do you prefer the most? You mean how do I prepare openings? No, not just openings, anything. Anything in chess in general. I, uh, I prefer to move pieces, so I definitely like chess board. Uh, and when I'm referring a book, definitely I like to have a chess board rather than uh, see it on a digital platform. I really like to have book and a chess set and then go through it. And since you like to read uh, a lot of books, like uh, what is your priority? A speed to complete the book or uh, to grasp it and uh, it takes as long as it will, you need? I do things as I enjoy it. So if I enjoy the book, I'll read it. If I don't enjoy it, I'll just put it back. <laughs> So you started uh, at a time where only chess books were there and uh, right now we have advanced so much that we are uh, utilizing AI like AlphaGo, Zero and everything. So how would you describe uh, the impact of uh, technology in your playing style and everything? Uh, I grew up more or less when this transformation took place. So it was not like, uh, you know, I, I was just, I started uh, playing uh, at a certain level when already computers were slowly taking over so yeah that, that was a nice journey overall but at some point I thought uh, we got too much computerized and I'm not even sure how much relevance it has 
you know in a practical game i do follow and this one interesting thing is yeah? so like uh, i saw moscow grand prix uh, happen and there was one race day and in most of the tournament there are race days so it's easy to follow and then i realized the stockfish was playing leela they didn't have a race day <laughs> they don't get tired <laughs> one game finishes the other game starts so uh, and then i was watching some of these games and at some point i realized i needed a rest so i was thinking that i will tweet that they should have a rest day yeah because it's <laughs> getting impossible to follow one game after another <laughs> Speaking of Moscow Grand Prix, Dubov played a fantastic game against Tanish Giri, which is uh, considered to be one of the game of the year contenders, along with your game against Yu Yangi at World Teams. So, where did you like that game against? Uh, yeah, it was brilliant. I mean, Dubov has all these uh, phenomenal ideas uh, in openings, and uh, he's, he's a very strong player. Uh, that was a pleasure to watch but also i like uh, grishuk nakamura i thought it was a fantastic game it was very classy uh, currently fide women's candidates is going on if you have to pick any one winner to win the tournament and face ju wenjun whom would you predict i am just enjoying the tournament i don't <laughs> i don't i don't have any favorite there <laughs> <laughs> okay i saw nana played a very good game and uh, defeated uh, ana mujichuk uh, with this rook sack yeah yeah yes um, but uh, rook cross g2 yeah. yeah and what's next for you i'm going to us to play in st louis uh, starting from 17 june but uh, i'll leave earlier leave around 7 june i'll have some training and then play Speaking of training, today you revealed that uh, Diptan is also your training partner. Uh, I see in the second row, uh, Diptan is sitting. Uh, when I asked him a couple of days back, uh, would, you, would you like to train with me? And he said, no, no, I'm very busy on Saturday, Sunday. Now I see what he was doing here. Do you have any other uh, secret training partners? Oh, Diptan is never, Diptan is never a secret. I have been training with him for years. Uh, what is a secret is he is actually a, my board games partner. So I have a board games group. And he is a prominent member of that group. So we play a lot of board games and uh, Diptan is a very active member on that group. What's your favorite board game? It would be very difficult to choose. Uh, I like uh, Saboteur, Saboteur 2 rather. I like Salim, I like Conductor, I like Avalon, I like uh, Modern in Hong Kong. Then, uh, well, my other board games partner is right beside me. <laughs> then uh, <coughs> what else yeah we, we, we play a lot of lot of games uh, I also like some individual games like uh, Corridor and you know Quarto uh, most of the games I'm getting from uh, abroad because it's not available from here so this time I'll be going to US I'll get some more games and uh, yeah I, I, you have in interviewed my board games guru also so you know yes. <laughs> <laughs> thank you Shujo for speaking with Chesbus India I wish you all the best in the future thanks Shahid